Hey guys, what is up? You guys have a lot of dust on you. That's how long I haven't recorded a video. Either way. So guys, in today's video, I will be talking about my... This is such a non-prepared, super spontaneous, non-organized video I have going on here. Like, I literally just picked up the camera from the floor and I was like, I'm gonna record something. So today is September 6th. 2017 and if you guys live under a rock or you just don't care to listen to the news and stuff like that supposedly this weekend florida will be hit with a category 5 hurricane it's one of the strongest hurricanes since andrew that hit 25 years ago in the state of florida and everybody right now is in a state of attack or in panic and everybody is preparing and stuff like that so honestly guys just pray for florida because it will be horrendous if Irma, which is the name of the hurricane, if Irma does end up coming here because that will be catastrophic. Recently we just had Harvey hit Texas and there is still so many flooding, there's so many possessions lost and if Irma does come to Florida, we are literally right here in the peak of the ocean. South Florida is literally right there and surrounded by water. The entire coastal Florida is surrounded by water. It's just a very scary topic and it's something very scary to think about that. You know, just imagine you being in Texas just the night before Harvey came and you had all your possessions, you had all your computers, your televisions, you had everything and then when all that rain just started and when it, you know, when Harvey did hit Texas and everything just became flooded the days after and you had nothing from having everything, like that's what honestly just scares me the most just like losing everything that my family and i have worked so hard to have the best thing that i can do right now and what everybody can do right now is just stay positive but beyond that today's video is going to be talking about my eight month post-op surgery from having a vsg or vertical sleeve gastrectomy so let's begin i might actually refer to my last video that i did because I'm such a fake YouTuber, like, I'm hardly on YouTube anymore. But the reason why I haven't been on YouTube is because I am in my junior year of college and I'm doing, I've always done full-time classes, but now I'm also working full-time. So I'm a full-time student and I'm a full-time worker, so I hardly have any time for myself anymore. So, and the little amount of time that I do have to myself, it's just to study and do homework, so. I have no life at the moment. I currently have 1,442 subscribers. Wow. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging on, even though I haven't been on YouTube anymore. You guys are the best. Okay, so the last video that I did was my five month post op. So I had weight loss surgery. I had the VSG in December 2016 and it is September 2017, so it has been exactly... Wait, I haven't made a post-op video in so long, it can't be. I have to calculate this. Bruh. So I'm going to start off with stats because I think that's pretty much what everybody is most intrigued about. And so my starting weight was 270 pounds, that was my highest recorded weight ever. And my current weight is 160 pounds which means that i have had a total weight loss of 110 pounds now the 160 i just have to mention that i had two weight goals when i decided to have this weight loss surgery my first weight loss goal was to weigh 160 pounds that was my mentality from the very beginning that's what i wanted to weigh now that i have hit that goal I have another goal and it is to reach between okay between 130 and 140 pounds do I think I can do it yeah do I think I'll be happy at that weight I don't know cuz I don't know but what I do have to say is that after losing all this weight and getting so many attention from everybody from guys to females from everything in between honestly it's like so different for me because I was always like this shy little girl that would like not really communicate with anybody like I would I would be like fun you know like with my friends that they know like a hundred percent like who I am like that crazy side of me like I'll I'll be that person but with new people it would be, it would be like so like awkward for me to like initiate like anything 
but now I'm a little bit like that because I think that after being so overweight for such a long amount of time and then just now getting used to this new body a new image that I'm giving off to people. It's still like a little bit hard to adjust to the type of person that, you know, I want other people to see. I just don't want people to think like, oh, she's like a pretty face and a pretty body because I have like so much that I can offer, which was the girl like that I used to be back then. Like, oh, like people would know me and they would be like, oh, like that's Izzy, like the funny girl. Or, you know, like, do you know, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Like, I just don't want to be like a pretty face and a pretty body. Like, I want to be like, yo, that's that like really intelligent girl walking by. <laughs> you know, like, I just don't want to be like a body. Like I said, this this video is just going to be like a freaking, like, I'm not planning anything like today. Um, So after losing a 110 pounds, obviously what I've been struggling with since the very beginning is excess skin. And I think that's pretty normal, especially when you've had such an enormous amount of weight that you've taken off of your body of course gravity you know that's just how gravity works whatever you lose has to come down you know whatever whatever goes up has to come down that's you know the basic definition of gravity so for me excess skin has always been an issue and my arms is my biggest problem area and so is my tummy um have i gotten used to the excess skin yes and no in regards to exercise being 100 percent with you guys i haven't been exercising during the beginning of summer i was really going hardcore with one of my friends we were like every day hitting the gym and all that stuff but ever since july started i kind of stopped with the gym all in all so yeah when july came around i kind of just stopped with the gym and i think that was just because i met like I met somebody and then I was like really having a nice time with them and during that time period I just didn't really focus on going to the gym I was literally just like going out like really late and coming home and my sleep schedule was like fucked up and it was like summer and I was like having the ball of my life so I stopped going to the gym in July and then August came around and I began working the second week of August and then the third week of August school started and I was like I don't have time I literally don't have time to go to like work out. It sucks because I work Saturdays, so it's like I can't win, you know, I, I can't win. Does this mean that I'm not gonna ever work out? Of course not. I just have to get used to everything again and I really have just have to get like re-motivated because if I go to the gym, I really wanna get like pumped and I wanna get motivated. Like I to go to the gym. Especially now when I'm so busy, like I really have to want it to go. Eating. So, have I been eating healthy? Hell to the yes, I have. So, eating. Am I eating super healthy? Heck to the yes, I am. I'm going hardcore with the eating my vegetables and my protein and reducing the carbs. Of course I have carbs like every once in a while, but it's not like a big thing. Overall, I am eating healthy and it's just, you feel very different when you eat like good food, like good healthy food compared to like unhealthy bad food. There's just difference, like in your entire body, like just feels off if you don't supply it with the nutrients that it needs. Obviously, this chirpy little happy girl is eating her correct foods to be this pumped. Okay. What else? Oh, I know what else. So when you have weight loss surgery, about 70% of your stomach is removed. And since that big amount of stomach is removed, your body can no longer produce those nutrients and those vitamins that it naturally produces anymore. So you have to supply on supplements to get all your vitamins like B12, calcium, all your multivitamins for vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. And I've been a bad girl because I haven't been taking any of my supplements anymore. And that's bad because I need to and I know that I need to but I haven't been taking them. Oh, something really big happened when I hit my seventh month mark and it was that I was noticing that when I ate certain foods like, for example, the first time that I noticed, I got GERD. Now, if you don't know what GERD is, GERD is basically a reflux that happens in your esophagus. So, whatever you eat kind of, like, goes up. So, whatever that stuff that you ate didn't sit well in your stomach, it goes up with the stomach acidity. And I guess that's what causes, like, that really uncomfortable, like, 
heaving pain that you get in your chest. I got GERD the seventh month mark after I ate um, a hot dog. Now, I know I wasn't supposed to be eating a hot dog in the first place, and I hadn't tasted a hot dog in like, I think years, but I wanted to try it. It was somewhere new that I was going, and I, you know, I wanted to try it. I hardly took two bites of it, and it was it was good. Like, I, I those two bites that I ate, which was like the only thing that I could fill, because it was like a thick ass, like fucking like hot dog. You know, it was, it was like thick. So I could only manage to eat like two bites out of it. But those two bites that I ate, oh my god, that did not sit well at all. Like I was like walking around my living room for like literally like freaking forever. Just like trying to get, you know, that gas out. So I knew that I wasn't supposed to be eating that in the first place. I ate it. I got repercussions from it. I had to even call the damn ambulance. But thankfully, with time, like by the time that I ate it to the time that the ambulance came to the time that it actually went away, it was a pretty good amount of time. But it was the most painful and oh, I hate it. And that was not the only time that I suffered from GERD. So after those two GERD situations, I went to my surgeon and I spoke to the nurse practitioner and I was like, look, this is happening to me. I read that it's common after a certain amount of time after having VSG or gastric bypass. And she recommended that I get on Zantac. And thankfully, ever since I got on Zantac, I don't take it regularly. I only take it when I get symptoms that I'm gonna get GERD. Um, but ever since I started taking Zantac, I haven't had any issues. And I haven't had any issues because I've been watching what I eat now. I got a little bit lazy during summer. I was having a lot of free time. I was having fun. I was going out. You know, I was meeting new people. And I was letting myself go a little bit. So, now that I'm on the right track again, I ain't suffering from GERD no more. I'm just going to do body shots as I always do. So, these pants are extremely big on me now. These are a size 10. And these are humongously big on me now, you guys. Like... Can you tell, like, how big I can literally fit, like, another butt in here? I do have my menstrual cycle this month, so the bloating is not uncommon. This is my chest. I have lost a lot of boob mass since this weight loss. There's a lot of mass in my arms here, but... So guys, this is the end of the video. I truly hope that you enjoyed my super spontaneous, non-organized video. <laughs> I was literally like, coming up with things to talk about off the top of my head, like on that instant. So if I seem like back and forth, <laughs> that's the reason why. I'm usually more organized than this, I swear. But other than that, you guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. And again, you guys, do not forget to pray for us Floridians. And please repent Irma from coming because... We don't need another damn hurricane coming in here and destroying, destroying our beautiful city. We don't need that. We don't. Either way, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.